What is going on YouTube family and welcome to another video. Before we jump into this video, I just want to say that I hope everyone watching this video, all your guys friends and all your guys family are staying safe during these tough times and I'm thinking about every single one of you. But today's video, I'm having withdrawal symptoms from Ghanaian Jollof Ras. If all of you guys watch my channel, have been watching from back in the day, you guys know I absolutely love it and it's one of my favorite things to eat now after I tried it out in Ghana. And I've been challenged by quite a few subscribers in the past saying, give it a try, bring your family involved, try and make it, see what happens because we'll be eager to see how you manage to do it and what you end up thinking it tastes like. So that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be going to the shops, going to be grabbing some ingredients and for dinner tonight, I'm going to be trying to make traditional Ghanaian Jollof Ras. So the ingredients I'll be needing for it are, if I get it open now, I need one chopped onion, one Maggie cube, some ginger, one scotch bonnet, which I'm not too sure what it is, but I need to do some research before I head to the shops. On the list it says I need another onion, three cloves of garlic, I need some rosemary, some salt, some water, which I can get straight out the tap, some olive oil, some tomato paste, two cans of, two cans of canned tomatoes, and three quarters of a cup of rice. So, wish me luck and let's jump into the video. And we are back. We got back from the grocery store, got them here. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit with what we're doing, what we're able to get our hands on and what we're going to be doing with it. To start off the recipe that I initially told you all the ingredients, it wasn't really a recipe. I'm rather going to free ball it, try and do, try and get adventurous instead of just sticking to a strict schedule as such as the stages we have to follow. Instead of doing three cups, we're going to be doing one full cup of white rice. This is what I researched it to be. It's more like a yellow pepper. We're going to be throwing that in. We have got our one onion here, which we're going to be chopping up and I'm going to be crying from it. We have some tomatoes, canned tomatoes. We have three cloves of garlic. So we'll more than likely use about one of these. And then we have our ginger, which we're going to peel up, chop up, and then throw it into the blender. We have our tomato paste. It recommended that we use two tomato paste, but because we're doing half the size, we're going to only be using one. We got some oxtail stock because after doing a little bit of research, they said a lot of the time this jollof rice is used with beef, particularly oxtail. So I've got some oxtail stock. And then these from the shop, they said are dangerously hot chilies. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be using one instead of two and then throwing some spices on top of it, blending it up, but that's pretty much what we're going to do now. Let's get into chopping it all up and throwing it all into the pot. Get started. You guys probably can't see, but there's quite a lot of smoke right now in this room because if anyone knows me, then I absolutely love food, love trying out new food. But one thing that I'm not particularly good at 
is cooking. So if we throw this back over, we've got the diced up or chopped up onions, which we're going to throw now. You can come take a closer look in there. You can see them sizzling away. So we're going to let that sizzle for a little bit. And while that's sizzling, we're going to take our tomato paste and we're going to empty this full, full container worth of tomato paste. You can come and get a nice look in here. We're going to throw that in to hopefully give the onions a really nice flavor while they're busy cooking in the oil. Make sure you don't want to waste any of the goodness, you know, you want to try and make sure you get absolutely everything out of it. So we'll pour that up. And a quick disclaimer before I start mixing. I presume we used the wrong type of pepper because what I saw online on YouTube, it's meant to come out green after you spun it all together and ours came out yellow but anyways hopefully it doesn't influence the taste too much so we're just going to stir it up and then on to the next step you can see the onions are turning nice and brown especially with the tomato paste in there so what we're going to do is now is throw in the mixture of all the other stuff we put together the garlic the peppers the chili and we're going to start just stirring that up to make sure all the flavors start transferring into the onions and then we're going to let that cook for a little bit of time and we're going to throw in some diced up or canned tomatoes and we went for a little bit of a different option where it had more onions in it because we thought it might just be a little bit better to add some more onions to give it some flavor and then after that we'll throw the rice in but the smell coming off it is really really nice and it's good fun trying new things first time making jollof rice so hopefully it turns out well pretty impressed with what we've done so far next we're going to throw this in but this is a little bit runny, so we're just going to pour it in there and just let the heat absorb some of the liquids out of here. As we saw what they were saying online, stir that up a bit. And then the next thing what we're going to do is, this is just your ordinary salt. Nothing special about it. You're just going to put a little bit on the hand because the worst thing is if you do it over it, I don't know from experience, and it all falls in there, it tastes terrible. So then you just salt bay it all in there. I have no idea if this is too much salt or too little salt, but either way, if it tastes like the ocean, it's all right. Now it is cooking up really, really nicely. The next stage is to throw the rice in. So what we have, this is just uncooked, straight out the cupboard, straight out the packet. We're gonna fill a full cup in there, all the way. We're gonna start mixing it in. And now what we're gonna do is because it's uncooked, and you want to make sure it really starts expanding and pops nicely to get that really nice fluffy taste. What we're going to do is we're going to match it with a cup of hot boiling water that we just took right now out of the kettle. And so far I think it kind of looks like you guys are probably laughing watching this video and be like, man, that's not how you make garnet and jello for us. But we're going for it anyway. And then the last stage on this step is we've got our oxtail beef stock. I guess you could call it but we're going to drop in and then that should also just give it a really nice additional flavor and we'll just let this simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes come back and check it and then hopefully by then we have some beautiful tasting Ghanaian jollof rice that was a lot harder <laughs> than it looked this video is probably going to be like four or five minutes long that took really long the one thing we battled the most with was the consistency from when I've had it in Ghana, it's normally quite, not as liquidy and quite nice and dryish, I would say. But this, you can see, is a little bit liquidy off the spoon. But either way, when we've been cooking it, the smells that have been coming off it have been delicious. You can see the steam is still popping hot. So I'm going to give it a try and let you guys know what it tastes like. In all fairness, it is really, really nice, but it just doesn't taste like Ghanaian jello for us. Like, it's just the way that the Ghanaians make it in Ghana make it taste so much better. But this was quite fun. It still tastes nice. It still kind of tastes somewhat like Ghanaian jello for us, but maybe like a distant relative or something. Not exactly the same, but it was just something super fun, super cool to try and do. If you guys have any more food suggestions you'd like me to try out, Leave it in the description. I'd love to try out and try and make some more traditional food. As I say, no disrespect making this meal. Just honestly trying our best because we love the taste of it. So...
It's still hot from off the stove, but it's actually really, really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and share the video around if you guys like it so we can grow together, get better together, improve a little by little every single day to achieve our goals, keep spreading Ghana, and keep spreading Africa to the world.